Good morning, it's Sunday, it's time for the live mega walk, but it's not gonna to be too much of a mega walk today because I've got loads to do. But I'm here at the bus stop, and I'm gonna tell you, when you arrive in Playa Blanca from wherever you're coming from, either on the bus or on the ferry, I'm gonna tell you where to go. So we're gonna go for a walk downtown. Um, so when you arrive on the bus, I'm gonna show you the best direction to go, where to turn, downtown and then we'll come all the way around there we'll go and see the harbour i'll show you where you go when you get off the ferry if you're coming from Fuerteventura, and then we'll end up back here let's go adios and say hello to these two lovely ladies they've been watching todo bien españa colombia oh um their tiktok más o menos mucho inglés y irlanda pero it's live live on tiktok <laughs> Adios, adios. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't even know if that came out on the YouTube video, but right, let's get going. So first of all, big thanks to Pat, my mate Pat, who messaged me this morning and said, where are you going live? I said, I don't really know, Pat. And he said, why don't you, why don't you tell people where to go when they come on the bus? So this one, Pat, is down to you. Thank you very much. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Tigarifi. Good morning, Abby. I will try and say good morning to everybody. Um, but so let, let's get going. So this is where you'll come if you come from the bus. So what we'll do first of all is we'll say, if you're coming from Porta del Carmen and Costa de Guise for a day out in Playa Blanca, for example, this is the main central bus stop and I'm gonna show you what you do when you get off the bus because obviously if you've never been here before, you won't know which way to turn. So, straight out of the main bus station here. Well, as always with everything, morning Nicola, whoa, bloody it's noisy in there I tell you. As always with everything, you have two ways to go, don't you, left or right. So if you turn left, that takes you into town and if you turn right, that takes you towards the harbour area and Playa Flamingo area. So realistically, I would say you're best off turning left. So let's get across this road, press the button, and uh, I'll take you down to town. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk down to town, I'll show you that, so when you're turning left here, we'll have a little walk around town, show you that, and then we'll turn around the front and we'll go up to the harbour area and then I'll show you what it's like when you get off the ferry and which way to go um, from the ferry. Green Man is going. Police station is just here as well, so you're rocking and rolling. Right, let me say hello to everyone. Um, Mark, good morning, how are you? So our moderators are on. Thank you very much for joining. Please note, moderators, I do not expect you to be here. I'm really, really grateful. You do an amazing job, um, but please don't ever think, oh my God, I can't make a Sunday but you do an amazing job, really appreciate it. Uh, the moderators are there to, to answer any questions and stuff. Oh, I see Joanne's on. Hello, Joanne, hope everything's well. Uh, so they'll answer any questions and of course, uh, get rid of anybody that's uh, been stupid. So yeah, we've got a little charging station here and this is one of the main bus, sta bus stops as well for the excursions. If you're stopping around this area, this is where, uh, we won't miss it, Dave, you, you're a legend, Neil. Um, this is where you get the bus if you're sort of stopping in this area. It's very windy today. There's my favourite things in the whole world. Goddamn scooters. There's a new one now called Dot. Urgh, rant, rant on the way. No, not really. So let's just, while I'm walking down here, let's see. Um, so Joanne's on. Go on, jo Hello, Joanne. Rufy's on. Claire's on. Craig's on. What's the temperature just now? Bloody freezing, Craig. It's a little bit windy and it's not too good. We've had a lot of cloud the last four days um, and it is a bit chilly with the wind. I'm still in shorts and t-shirt, but to be honest, it's only because I'm walking. I could do with having a hoodie on, but look, that geezer there, he's got uh, shorts and t-shirt on, so it's not too bad. Is that near the pharmacy and bike shop? Yes, it is, Victoria. Good morning from Ireland. Good morning, Matthew. So I'm gonna tell you why I've stayed local today in just a second. Um, so this, is essentially the main uh, entrance. What I will show you on the way back is that place there. See that building there? That's another useless thing that they've built, which is a massive leisure center. It's gonna have a swimming pool in and everything. It's never been opened. Um, I don't know what's going on. Another waste of money when they could be building something a little bit more exciting. But there you go. Rant two. <laughs> so here's the pharmacy. Look, you can see it says 19 degrees on there. There's no way in the blooming world it's 19 degrees. But that's what it says. But, I've, well, 
it probably is but with the wind it's a little bit chilly uh, it's sunny but minus one in south devon oh my gosh dear me so this is the main pharmacy this is the best pharmacy um in player blanca it does everything any drug you can possibly want is in that pharmacy <laughs> don't get confused with the para pharmacies which are sort of uh natural products and stuff um roscoe's open yeah i'm not sure what roscoe's is Oh, Joanne's favourite chemist in Player Blanca. There you go, Joanne. There it is. It's always open as well. Um, so let me tell you why I'm staying local. Because I did threaten to go to Costa de Guiz uh, today. Um, but last night was the carnival in Costa de Guiz. So it would have been a bit of a bit of a shit one anyway. There'd have been, um, there'd have been, or everyone had been asleep and there would have been clearing up after carnival. So I've come downtown because yesterday i went to ikea um, because if you didn't see i went live on youtube and um i did a, a, my first sort of live on youtube and i said i'm going to design my studio well because i if i say i'm going to do something i can't i can't rest until it's done so i was up ikea yesterday getting loads of stuff today i'm going to finish the studio so i'm going to finish this live about 10 30. I'm going to get back, finish the studio, nothing like a challenge, it's going to kill me, and then tonight around 7, 7.30 I'm going to be live on YouTube, not on TikTok, only on YouTube, I'm going to be live on YouTube and I'm going to do a studio reveal. Um, so I've worked bloody hard on it, so I hope you can join me. If you're on TikTok and you're not on YouTube, it's the same name, travelon.world, Mr Travelon. I'm going to be live around, I think 7.30, only for an hour. Um, Oh, police there, look. Police are speeding up the road, look. Somebody's done something. So I'm only gonna be for an hour, but I'm gonna reveal the new studio, okay? So I hope you can join me on that. Right, so off the bus and you turn this way, we'll take you straight into town. Are you in Venezuela? No. <laughs> I'll see you in August. I'll be watching Dave on YouTube Live, thank you, Claire. Yeah, I wanna get into this YouTube Live business, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist and the background wasn't suitable for me. So I ripped, the office, I ripped the office up last week and sort of moved it around. Now I've got a nice background, but it still wasn't perfect. So I've got new shelves, new lights. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Travelon's getting me some paint today. So I'm gonna be painting and everything. Where in Lanzarote are you? I'm in Playa Blanca. So this is the main entrance. So, like I said, when you come off the bus, um if you turn left you'll come down into town this is probably the best way to come if you're sort of just exploring um for the day then this is definitely the best way to come look and this will lead you right into the thick of it right into the heart of player blanca so this way you've got um the shopping walk which is where all the shops are uh, won't be open as yet and then this way you've got into town and then just there look you can see the sea um, and you can see Fuerteventura, that'll be the front. I have an excursion booked, staying in Sandus Papagaya, but pick up is Gran Tagoro, is it? Yes, I think, yeah. So Leanne, um, with regards to pickups from hotel, Gran Tagoro is literally down the road from you. So with regards to pickups from the hotel, um, if you go onto our website, for those of you that don't know, our website is travelon.world, excursionslanzarote.com, and we are the leading provider of tours, trips, excursions on the islands. Uh, here, Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, we cover all the Canary Islands and more to come. Um, but it says on the website, pickups are at or close to your hotel. Now, the reason they do that is because they, they'll have set pickups around the whole areas of wherever you're staying. So you're staying at Sandos Papagayo, which is like one area. And in that area, you've got Gran Tagoro, Sandos Papagayo, uh, and a couple of others, not even that many. So they'll tend to pick up at the bottom of the hill where you are at the Gran Tagoro. Um, they can't obviously pick up at every single hotel on the island because, well, if you imagine there's hundreds of hotels and if they said there's a pick up at the door of every hotel, they would literally spend the morning picking people up. So they have like little zones, like for example, where, I, where we got the bus, that would be the zone for this area. So if you were staying in an apartment just here, for example, you pick up would just be up that, up that street. But all the pickups are pretty much a couple of minutes from, from most hotels. So the Gran Tagoro from Sandos Papagayo is super, super close. It's about a three minute walk down the hill. So I hope that helps. Uh, can we book the boat from Porto Calera to Carmen from your site? Yes, you can, Trevor. All you need to do is go on there. Um, it's already proper cheap, but if you use the code TTK, 
you'll actually get a little bit of a discount as well. <laughs> I shouldn't even be telling you that because that's a proper cheap excursion, <laughs> but I don't mind. So you'll get a little discount as well. So you can book it on there. It's under the boat trip section. So just walking into town now, this way is very residential. Lots of, uh, lots of sort of residential places up there. But I've just actually seen something that I've never seen. And I've been here for ages, look. So there's a restaurant here. Restaurant Los Hevedervas. I've never even known that this place existed, look. So this is right on the back streets. You wouldn't see this before. Hola. Es nuevo. Un mucho años. Yo no velo antes. Well, there you go. Muy bien. Yo pasa. <laughs> ¿Qué, co ¿Qué comer? Eh, ahí está la carta. Canarian o... Canarian o... Oh, look. Sí, Canario. Oh, it's a little Canarian restaurant here. Wow. Oh, yo proba. Gracias. There you go, Canarian restaurant. Didn't even know that, look. Right in the back here. You, you would miss that. Has anybody ever been? I've never even heard of it. Amazing, amazing how they do business. Barbers there, look. Uh, is it worth booking Rancho Texas for the day and then separately for the night? Yes, you have to book Rancho Texas and the night separately. A lot of people ask me this question, so it's a really good question. Um, Rancho Texas is a zoo, so it's an animal park. Uh, does all your shows, parrot shows, dolphin shows, sea lion shows, all that. So that's all included. Water park, it's got big slides now and everything. Um, so that's all included in the day. And then on the night time they do, morning mate, on the night time they do, um, they do a country and western show. But you've got to be aware that you can't stay in the park because the park closes at five and the country and western show opens at seven. And you can't stop in the park because it's a different entrance and everything. So you do have to book separately. Here we go. Yeah, somebody just said hello there. Hello, mate. You all right? <laughs> you all right? I was just gassing. You all yeah, right? Yeah, are you yeah. on holiday, are you? Yeah. I'm yeah? Just... You're watching me? No yeah. way. What's your name? Ian. Ian. Well, you're the first person to say hello on a Sunday morning. Hello. Wait, where are you stopping? Just up the road. Just up here in the apartment. I, was ju I started at the bus stop today. So just up by the bus stop, not far from there. Oh, good. Just up this I was just having a nose at that restaurant there because I've never even seen it. I've been here for 20 years. I never yeah. even knew that restaurant existed. So where have you been going out then, right along here? Well, we had uh, we had two days staying at Las Brisas. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we moved to this apartment, which we stayed in last year. Yeah. This time last year. So Brilliant. So it's, in the sun, it's gonna... I know it's terrible. And where are you from? Tamworth. Not far from me then. No, where the Spudman is, have you ever met the Spudman? I haven't met him, no, I've been watching it. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic, you've got to go. Well, isn't it? Oh, he's doing too well, this is what I need here. Well look, me, what's your name again? Ian. Ian, there's a little Mr. Travel on sticker for your suitcase or, or whatever you want to do Jeez. with it. Chuck it in the bin if you want, I don't lovely. care. Lovely to meet you, mate. You. Have a lovely day and I hope lovely. the weather gets better for you. See you, soon. See you mate, bye bye. bye. There you go, first person said hello. Um, he did say hello earlier and I thought, oh, is he saying hello to me because he knows me or not? He didn't really sort of make, make it obvious and I was gassing about uh, Rancho Texas. Uh, we need to do a group Zoom with him so we can show us. Show me what, Rufy? Show me what? What are you on about? So these guys just getting open. These are the money exchange guys. So you can get all your money and money that exchange there. They're very reputable. So you're all right. Oh, bit of bread. <laughs> He's got enough bread there to keep it. Uh, to keep any gluten-free person <laughs> in the grave, isn't he? Oh God, woman walking past with her music playing full blast on her phone. I mean, why would you do that? Do you know what? Humanity, humanity, just walk, they walk down the street with their phones playing full blast. Or the other thing they do is they, they have full, full blown conversations with their phones on like really loud. Can't stand it. Another rant on the way. Um, I think that's about four rants so far. We're only just blooming started. What's that on the right? Oh, that's a stage. It looks like they're building that. We're going to have a look at that. Let's cross over. Good spot there, Tiggerific. So this is town. This is Playa Blanca town. Good morning. How are you? You all right? Yeah, yeah going for a little walk. A coffee. a coffee. Oh, is it any good in there? Fantastic. Are you on holiday? You're living here? 
fantastic well say hello to everybody have a good day see you later right let's get across the road there you go right oh somebody's revving <laughs> thought she was hurrying me up there got another story about revving in a minute so look uh did you see the video from kevin talking about the same yes i did see that mark yeah same on the plane watching a film full blast on a plane so this is a playground look and usually i can't really do the playgrounds because it's full of kids isn't it and the last thing you want is uh some weirdo walking around with a camera in a playground um but let's have a little look at the playground look look we can have a go and everything we could have a go so this is a massive playground here look ideal for the kids always busy uh, especially on the evening time the locals come down with their kids look and they basically just let them run riot um and good i suppose if you if your kids are old enough just to have a little play around um and you want to sit in like the restaurant there like typico canario opposite then um you know you can you can do that can't you look you can grab a little typico canario over there and then as long as you can see them you're rocking and rolling Let's have a little swig but there you go look little swing i'm not getting on the swings where are you today regan's dad i'm in uh lanzarote player blanca today keeping it local but look it's really cool beautiful and it's soft as well so this floor is actually like rubber i still think you'd probably break your nose if you fell flat on it wouldn't you and you've got a swing there so you've got a swing there with a harness <laughs> I don't know is that a disability swing is that the, anybody on there that knows about disabilities is that like a disability swing it looks like it could be doesn't it have you been to a uh, barcelo active resort yeah i've done a full video on my youtube so don't forget head over to my youtube channel there's loads of videos over there um, i'm trying to build the subscribers upon that and i'm going to do loads more live so i'm doing a studio reveal tonight live on youtube about seven o'clock seven seven thirty or seven thirty i'm gonna say give me a bit more time um so as soon as i finish this live i'm going back i've got a few more ikea furniture bits to build i've got a bit of painting to do i've got some wiring to do for some lights and then we'll be rocking and rolling so this guys is for the carnival so on saturday next week is the player blanket carnival hopefully it doesn't rain so what they'll do, the Playa Blanca Carnival will come all the way down this street here. It will start up by sort of Tim and Fire area. So it'll come all the way down Playa Blanca. It will come all the way up this street here. It will go a little bit further up there. And then this is where the party is on the night. So there'll be a big air DJs and music and that. And everyone will just be absolutely bladdered <laughs> in this area. Everyone will be bladdered in this area. Jack's coming down um, and I think he's going to have a late night bless him I, I don't know if you saw me going live at the one in Porta del Carmen but he's sort of 16 now so his mates are more going out and you know trying trying alcohol and things like that like we all did so uh he went to Porta del Carmen and I said look come back or ring me being the protective father that I am I said I'd, I'd rather you ring me and I'll come and pick you up whatever time of the morning it is and I thought, right, I'm in for a late one here. And he was done by 11. I was like, why, why didn't you stay out later? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. So maybe, because he's in Playa Blanca this week, he'll be out a little bit longer. There's La Rustica. Now, La Rustica is um, it's one of the most famous pizza places in Lanzarote. So it's very famous for pizza. And it used to be amazing. They built the grill next door. It used to be fantastic. Then they opened in Porta del Carmen and, and, and Arecife, so they spread it, they, they sort of spread their wings a little bit. Um, then they opened in the open moor, and I'm going to be honest with you, and you know me, I'm always, um, I'm always sort of honest, and I would never sort of give a bad review. But the pizzas have just the quality and the price. The price has gone up massively. And the pizza's quality, and I have told them as well, so I have, it's not like I'm just slagging them off. I have been in there and said, look, you know, we used to always order takeaway, um, and it used to be really good. We're not really happy the last few, and they just sort of shrugged their shoulders. Um, but they do do delivery, so if you do want a pizza, it's probably not the best, but um, if you want a pizza delivered, they will deliver for you. You've got the Chinese raw wok there, um, and they used to do a buffet, 
Now it's like all you can eat, but they serve it on plates. Um, it's not too bad, the Chinese is nice. There used to be a buffet one just down the road there. And I do miss my Chinese buffet in Playa Blanca, so hopefully someone's gonna open one. And then last but not least in this area here, look, you've got a brand new Mexican restaurant, um, which is good, which is good. Need potato man there, <laughs> need a potato man there. Old spud man, old potato man from the, from the market, yeah, I know you naughty ladies. Whereabouts are you? I'm in Playa Blanca Lanzarote. So, like we said, if you're coming off the bus, that will take you into town. So this brings you into town. There's another kids area there as well. Um, that's town down that way with Kei Lamonis, which is the, um, the shopping street. Um, and I'm just thinking where I'm gonna go now. I can either walk through here and then go down there into Kailamonis. Yeah, come on, we'll go this way. So we'll walk along here. Um, who's not being respectful with comments, Nicola? Get them gone, get them gone. Oh. Uh, da -da -da. See if I can see your things. Had that Chinese, very good. There you go. Keep trying, keep trying to give you more, yeah. So, I'm a big Chinese buffet fan, as you know. In fact, I won't order off menu. <laughs> I'll only go to the Chinese if it's buffet. Um, and it really, it, there was a really nice one in Playa Blanca, but it's closed down, thank God, because it was nice, and then it got taken over, and then it went disgusting, like it was filthy. Um, and then the wok one that we just passed used to do buffet, and then uh, they stopped it after COVID, and did the sort of all you can eat, but it's still good because you can order a plate, then another plate, then another plate, then another plate. Um, but I do prefer a buffet. That is the Lanzarote Princess. So you see that sort of domey area there, it looks like a greenhouse. That's an indoor heated pool. Um, so that's the Lanzarote, H10 Lanzarote Princess look. You got a little food truck there, indoor heated pool. I'm not sure if it's adults only because I can see a guy stood there with a kid. Um, so I'm not sure if that part of the pool is adults only. Um, anybody that's stopped there, let me know. Um, but it's good for a heated pool. And let me just put my glasses on and see if the gate's open. No, last week somebody left a brick blocking the gate. So there's the local bus look. So if you do pick up, if you do get off the bus in um, where, where we started, you can get the local bus back if you walk too far and you don't want to walk all the way back. This is the Papagayo Centre. These are the horrible scooters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you go past the Yaiza, they have a lovely flamingo display in the front for Carnival. Fantastic, Mrs. Travelon. That's where I'm going then. So this is the Papagayo Centre. This place has got sort of a night, a couple of nightclubs. Well, one nightclub, sort of Waikiki's. You've got a great restaurant down there called La Casa. Um, you've got a fish and chip shop place in the sun. Um, there is sort of signs up here. They could do is making them look a bit nicer, couldn't they? Do you know what I think? If I, you know, if I had a, if I had a bar in there, I'd be like, right, let's. I, you know, I know it's like a community thing. I'd be like, well, if no one's going to bother making it nice, I'm going to bother making it nice, and I'd happily pay and get everybody else's stuff printed. You know, because it's going to benefit my business at the end of the day, isn't it? Can you smoke on the streets where you're coming over in June? I believe so. You know, you know, yeah, everybody does. Why can you not smoke in the street in England? sure you can not in england i mean here yeah i'm sure you can smoke on the street i've never known anybody else anybody not been over to it's a good question though anybody know the answer i don't smoke so i wouldn't know <laughs> but if i did i'd be smoking in the street where are you i'm in playa blanca lanzarote today thanks for joining us um there you go Rufus says yeah thanks for joining us if you don't know who i am i am mr travel on um I live in Lanzarote, I live in Playa Blanca, so I kept it local today. And we do all the excursions on all of the Canary Islands. So Lanzarote, Tenerife, Fuerteventura, Gran Canaria. Anything you want to do when, you, uh, when you're going on holiday, go onto our website, travelon.world, excursionslanzarote.com. You can see a list of everything that they do. Boat trips, animal parks, zoos, water parks, land tours, bus tours, you name it, we do it. And uh, if you use the code TTK, because you're here on the TikTok channel, then you'll get yourself a little bit of a discount. So I can't say fairer than that, can I? Um, and like I said, I do these lives every Sunday morning. Um, I don't do it for 
gifts or anything like that so i'm not on here saying send me a rose send me a rose send me this send me that um all i ask is that you click the like button press the art button or whatever you have to do and sort of subscribe to this channel and go over to youtube and subscribe to that it's completely free of charge okay and um, just make sure to follow build me up and if you come into any of the islands and you want to do an excursion well maybe mr travelon can help you and save you some money so i'm not after anything but that and there you go this is the princess yaiza do you ever go to togoro grand togoro i've done a video on grand togoro so if you go onto my youtube channel there's a full video on there this is the princess yaiza the five star it's beautiful mrs travelon's favorite hotel i took her there for one night only <laughs> and um and she loved it and we've not been back since because it's it was it was expensive at that time and i dread to think how much it is now because the price of everything's gone up hasn't it uh, rubicon palace is my favorite hotel yeah i love rubicon as well i've done a full video on my youtube with that one as well i think i've stayed there you think you've stayed there but if you don't remember staying there <laughs> you must be uh you must be five star five star expert why does why do spain always have wires everywhere because their electricity <laughs> their electricians are shite <laughs> basically they just whack it up to be honest hello you're right to be honest it's got a lot better but uh you'll see in arecife there's wires all over the all over the place or oh, do you mean these wires these are not wires right so i'll explain what these are this is probably what you mean so this is watering this is the water so these are like water systems now the reason they're black usually you see these little stones here it's called pecan <clears throat> so when you buy pecan because they sell it by the bag full um, and they put it bloody everywhere and it drives me mad it's the most uncomfortable thing to walk on but you get red or black and it's basically from the volcanoes so they ground it's like ground up little pebbles and that's what they grow stuff in because obviously there's no grass here really um, so these tubes um are watering it's a watering system um so it waters all the garden and the, and the plants i've got one, i've got I've, i set one up in mr travelon's garden as well not that i touched it um any golf excursions no golf i've been invited to go <laughs> i've been invited to have a go at golf um i'm gonna wait till the summer but there is a golf course in Porto del carmen and one in costa de Gizzi as well we don't sell it but the guy said we can so i am gonna go and check it out first and see how I would sell it and how it all works because I ain't got a clue I've never played golf I've never fancied playing golf it's really something that doesn't float my boat at all um, pretty much like 90% of sports <laughs> but I know a lot of people are, like golf don't they there you go five star well it's a five star L I don't know what the L stands for gotta do a video of you playing golf can you imagine me playing golf dear me i might get into it you never know see I'd, I, if i think if i lived in england i'd get into it just to do the like the networking with the hoity-toity and the rich and you know the rich do a bit of business but here in lanzarote the rich are basically farmers <laughs> you would walk past like a little old canarian guy he'd be dressed in the shabbiest clothes you wouldn't even bat an eyelid and he would be the richest man on the island because they're not into anything like this i'll tell you about that in a minute look so there's the princess yaiza look amazing place oh there's the carnival thing mrs travelon was telling me about let's go and have a look oh wow look at that oh the smell in here it's i think they they put perfume in the air it's gorgeous look at this so this is especially for carnival look wow look at that little flamingos look so carnival's on saturday imagine that's all lit up look and there's got a little chair there where you can get yourself a little selfie but look at this place oh god you know what it smells so good it's so weird like you walk in here and it's like oh the smell unbelievable <laughs> anyway the guy that owns this place he's one of the richest men on the island i've never actually seen him but i bet you if i bet you'll probably walk past him a hundred times because if you were sort of in the in england or america or or, or some places 
you'd know someone was rich, wouldn't you? Because they, they'd turn up in like, <clears throat> you know, flashy clothes, Rolex watch, you know, designer glasses. Um, they'd probably be in a sports car or something. Here, um, they'd probably turn up <laughs> in a tractor <laughs> with the wellies on, or, or just they'd just be normal, normal guys, you know, that you just wouldn't, you wouldn't know that they were rich. Um, the guys that own like Linnaeus Romero, the brothers, they, um, you know, they own pretty much most of the island of Graciosa. And they're just two, two, two guys, you know, there's no sort of airs and graces about them. They're really down to, they don't talk posh. In fact, I don't know what, I, I don't know what a posh Spanish person sounds like, to be honest. So I can't tell if they talk posh, but you can tell by their mannerisms that they don't talk posh. I wonder if there's a posh way of talking in Spain. Is there any Spanish people on? I'm going to need to find this out, aren't I? Because you can tell if somebody's posh in there uh, if they speak in, in English, can't you? But there you go. These guys have sort of made their billions and millions, especially the guy that owns this, basically because they've been here since day one, before tourism, families handed down the land and stuff like that. And the guy that owns the Isar, he owns this, he owns all of this area here. He must be minted. And he's got a farm. Um, and like a big vineyard and everything, loaded. Are there different Spanish accents? Yeah, I think there is, Elsa. A lot of people say that the Canarians speak really bad Spanish. So uh, anybody from the mainland Spain, um, when they say about Canarians, like if you meet somebody, if I meet somebody from Spain and the kids, because the kids are fluent, my kids are fluent Spanish, they'll say, oh, they're proper Canarian, aren't they? And it's like pronunciation of things, but apparently it's really bad Spanish what the Canarians speak. Uh, I only know how to speak the bad Spanish anyway, so whether it be Canarian or not, I'm crap, but I will give it a go. You got Kiko land here, look. And that's like a little playground area. And look at this walkway. I mean, this is the dark alley of Lanzarote Playa Blanca. This would be, you know, Oh, don't go down here at night, it's a dark alley. Look at it, it's beautiful. The cat doesn't give a crap, look. <laughs> Good morning, cat. How are you? You okay? Say hello to everybody on TikTok. Loads of cats here. Loads of cats. And I am going to do a video with Pauline, who feeds them every day. Um, and you can, you can see them. I will probably pass a few. Who's got a dirty laugh? Have you saying I've got a dirty laugh? Everyone says I've got a dirty laugh. Oh, I've got a dirty mind, I know that. I don't know about laugh. <laughs> right, listen, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get to the bottom of here, which will bring us out of Playa Dorada. I'm gonna swing a left. I'm gonna go and show you the Barcelo Playa Blanca and how that's developed and see what's happening with the new shopping center. Then we're gonna turn right, head down there through town. We'll do the uh, Calle Lamoni shopping street. That'll bring us back down to the harbour and then I can show you which way to go when you're coming over from Fuerteventura, which is over there, look. You can see it on a, on a lovely day. I think Kevin, the Scotsman, is over there. I don't know what time he's coming back, um, but hello. But you can come there. Oh, I thought he was saying hello to me. No, he was just stopping. And there's where the ferry comes in, look, over there. So look at Playa Dorado, it's beautiful. Gorgeous, look. So you got, that's where the ferry comes in. So we'll walk over to that harbour there you can see that the Armas ferry is coming over from that way as well, from Fuerteventura. So I'll show you, if you're coming over on the ferry for the day, which way to go. And we'll go and have a look at Playa Dorada in a minute. Still cloudy though, look. But the sun is coming out, so it's not too bad. Recording me. I'm recording you. Whoa, he's got his milk, look, he's got his milk. How are you, you all right? <laughs> look at that, he's got a box of milk and he's, uh, he's heading back, he's a nice guy. He used to work in the shop next door to Mrs. Travelon. Um, so th it was an electrical shop, that, one of these dodgy le electrical shops, to be honest, but they never, they never ripped anybody off. Um, they just sold like memory cards and stuff like that. Um, you've got to be careful with some of these electrical shops that sell like iPads for two quid. <laughs> but he was a nice guy and he lives down here now. Good morning from sunny Glasgow. I'll say hello to people now if I can see. Uh, I went to play a blank, a lovely place. It is, Joanne, it's gorgeous. Morning, Nelly. Um, if I can't see your messages, guys, because I'm walking, but our lovely moderators that do such a great job, they'll answer any questions if they can. Um, this is the Dreams Player Dorada look. You've got the infinity pool there, 
and you've got sea legs um which is a swim up pool, uh, swim up bar and this is the um this is the what's it called the privilege area so this is upgrade only um you can rent these beds as well and that infinity pool just there look but to use this bit it's adult only and it's an upgrade so you have to pay for the privilege but it's beautiful uh, I started there bloody loving stunning preferred club I stayed there you were well, you preferred club were you Joanne you posho get in there bit of upgrade for Joanne uh, let's have a look so let's have a look any curses is is it crazy busy in Costa de Guise in August it's crazy busy everywhere in August um, well in saying that prices of holidays are shooting up to ridiculous prices so will it be crazy busy this year I don't know everyone's saying it will be everyone's saying it will be but I've been saying for the last two years that something something's gonna go something's got to gonna drop prices are high the cost of living is ridiculous now so um, I don't know I don't know who's affording holidays to be honest and the prices are doubling so I don't know I don't I don't know I keep saying it's going to go, we're going to go into a recession, there's going to be hardship, but it seems to be cracking on, doesn't it? So I don't know whether it's going to be busy or not. I hope it's busy, for everybody's sake. Um, the problem, the problem, going into the sea, oh no, no. Come out April the 7th for a week, can't wait. What excursions would you recommend for a 13-year-old? Uh, for a 13-year-old, I'd probably definitely do... If you were going to do one of the water parks, I'd do the one in Costa de Guise because it's bigger. Morning. Um, so it's a bigger water park in Costa de Guise. It's a little bit shabby um, compared to the one in Playa Blanca, Lanza Sur, um, Aqualava, um, but it has got bigger slides. The one in Aqualava is a lot um, newer, fresher, but it hasn't got big slides. For a 13 year old, you want the big ones. I'd also do Rancho Texas. That in the summer is going to have even more slides than it does now. So that would be a definite one. And then a boat trip, 13 year old, I would probably, you could do the one that includes water sports as well. That would probably keep them entertained. All on our website, excursionslanzarotti.com, travelon.world, and use the code TTK and you'll save yourself a little bit of wonga. There you go, look, there's the dreams, look, beautiful hotel, five star. Five star hotel there, look, with gorgeous views over there. What day is the market on? Well, you've got the Sunday market into Giza, which is today. Morning, how are you? You're all right. Oh, thank you. I, I thought you were putting a jumper on then. No, I'm taking them all off. <laughs> it is getting hot, look. Um, yes, yeah, so the markets, you've got Sunday market to Giza, um, which is today. And then you've got Wednesday and Saturday just over there in Marina Rubicon. So that's Marina Rubicon there. That's not the harbour. The harbour's on the other end. And they've got a Wednesday and Saturday market there. Regarding market stall that I threatened that I was going to set, set up, Mrs. Travelon won't let me. But she is right. She said, if I do a market stall, I'm tied. I'm tied down. I'd have to be there every Wednesday and Saturday. And if I wanted to go off and do some more videos over on other islands, I wouldn't be able to. So what's that cafe on Dorada Beach? Um, yeah, that one there. I'll go down there and have a look. So any good questions that come through? Uh, mods, just pin them up there. Let's see. And then I can guarantee to see them then if you've got any good questions or ones that you maybe can't answer. Just keep pinning them because I'll see them. So lovely little beds there. Um, how is Barcelo? Just going to go and have a look now, JC. Are there any markets in Porta del Carmen? There used to be one on a Friday, but it's not gone since COVID. Is there a lot of pickpocketing coming out today staying in Costa de Guise? No, Gabs. Um, it, it's very safe island to be honest obviously don't get walking around on your own at night um, anywhere in the world because nowhere's 100% safe but crime rate on the island is very low so this area here well this is the new Barcelo this area here look see them two pipes that's where the famous smell is it stinks just literally there just there you just pass it and you get a whiff Oof and it's horrible whiff as well um, but the, I presume they're working on it but it doesn't from from there it's gone now and this is the big Barcelo look at the size of this place biggest hotel on the Canary Islands 
Um, mixed reviews at the moment, um, but like I always say to people, they haven't even done a summer yet. It's only just opened. A lot of people are saying short of staff, um, service isn't what it should be. Um, facilities are fantastic, rooms are beautiful obviously because they're brand new, pools are gorgeous, food is okay, um, but again, uh, with a shortage of staff, um, not, not that good. But guys, listen, if you're booking this hotel, it's only just opened, um, be aware and be prepared for teething problems. If you're booking it and expecting everything to be perfect, it's not gonna be perfect. They haven't even done one summer yet, so they're not even, they've not even learned what they need to know. Do you know what I mean? So just be wearing that. These guys are in here, look. How are you? You all right? <laughs> they're enjoying it, look. They're right in there, look. So they built the hotel. There it is, look, absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'll mention that in a minute, Mark. Um, absolutely gorgeous hotel there. Look at it, beautiful. And then this is La Salle. So this opens really soon. It's a little bit delayed, should be open before. Um, but here, so before there was literally that walkway there where you can see people walking there and it's now all opened up into this gorgeous area here. Beautiful. Um, temperature low mid 20s yeah mark uh clipboard yeah we'll, we'll, uh, pin me that comment a little bit mark when i'll finish this bit and i'm walking and i'll mention the clipboards um but if anybody's asking any decent questions just get them get them pinned up there mods i need to answer loads of questions today um so this is last sale look it's got restaurants that way hotel that way there's parking there's shops there's an atm um supermarket there look a uh, little uh, Right, you've got a lovely supermarket there. There's a reason there's a Hyperdino supermarket and that's because they own this place. <laughs> they built it. Uh, is the Wibbit inflatable in the CPDC coming back? Um, yes, the big inflatable thing. Do you know what? It hasn't been there for a long time. Um, it was very popular as well. That was like the big inflatables. At the moment, no, but if it does, I will get down there and do a video. Now you've got a pharmacy here. This is not a pharmacy. This is a health store. Um, you're gonna go in there and ask for paracetamol and you're gonna get honey, honey and uh, <laughs> honey and hibiscus. <laughs> that ain't gonna do nothing, and it's probably gonna cost you twenty quid. So be able, be aware of these farmer places. They're not pharmacies. Go to the ph proper pharmacy. La Playa there. That's a nice uh, shop. Looks like the stock's gone in. You've got a cafeteria Italian look that's gonna do Italian ice cream. Um, my mate Jimmy owns uh, this place here, Roma Italian. Um, and namaste so you've got indian and italian and you've got a curry and tandoori house is there any shopping centers in playa blanca well this is the new shopping center officially because there's a few shops here and then there's the main street calle lamonis which we'll walk down in a bit um, but there's no actual shopping centers apart from actually there's the rubicon shopping center but it's not massive there's only a few shops in there but you have got um You've got a good clothes shop for men. You've got a couple of good clothes shops for women as well. Um, so it'd be the Rubicon Marina, which is just up here, literally just at the end of this road. So this is the area if you want to do a bit of shopping. Look, you've got some shops here, look. And a new Chinese restaurant. And the good thing is my mate Jimmy has opened the, uh, the Italian and the Chinese. I'm going to be going down to see, to see him and try everything and uh, he might be able to get me into all these other restaurants <laughs> for a little bit of scram and a video. What do you reckon? I could be eating like a king, couldn't I? What's this place? So this is a, looks like a clothes shop of some kind, look. Wow. Buona dia. So that looks like a, I don't know what it's gonna be. But you've got Ralph Lauren, look. Ralph Lauren shop. You've got a Hugo Boss shop. You've got a jewelry shop, you've got everything. So yeah, somebody asked about pickpocketers and Mark rightly so has uh, pinned a comment about clipboarders. So you will get people come around with clipboards and they say that they're deaf and they'll put things on your table and uh, or they'll tell you to sign something and they'll basically ask you for money. They're dodgy, uh, don't trust them. Just kindly refuse and say, no, thank you, go away um, because they're dodge and they're around the top of Marina Rubicon. Rubicon Marina, is that where they are, Mark? Thank you. Uh, do you have a Zara in Playa Blanca? Yes, there's a Zara in Playa Blanca in 
the Biosphere Shopping Centre and the big open mall shopping centre in Arecife. So this is uh, where I said Marina Rubicon is that way, look. And that's the shopping centre over there, look, you can see. So you see just in the distance there, just past the park, is the shopping centre. Nice one, Mark. Don't get caught out by the clipboarders. They'll put something on, they'll put something on you or give you something and then make you pay for it. Uh, do submarine tours still happen? Yet yeah, submarine is in Puerto Calero. You can go onto our website, excursionslanzarote.com, travelon.world. You can book the submarine and it'll pick you up from wherever you're staying, take you down there. You'll dive 30 meters under the water. You'll see all the fish. You'll see a shipwreck. Um, you'll see loads of different things. And uh, if you use the code TTK as well on our website, travelon.world, excursionslanzarote.com, you get yourself a cheeky discount. Submarine safaris. Coming out on the 20, 28th of March, will the sale be open? I'm bloody open so, because it's been going for ages. I always have a little walk up these stairs, because I like it, look. And you can get a good old nose look up here, look. There's the hotel, look at the size of the thing. So this side is royal level, which is adults only, look. There's an infinity pool there. Some geezer's putting his sunbed out already. There's another restaurant there for royal level. And then that goes all the way around there, look. To the kids area with the slides and then here look is where they've sort of um, done the windmills they've kept the windmills look and designed them and you can come up here and just have a little nose look taking all the views gorgeous why is it so empty because it's early morning early morning and it's not open yet <laughs> they're still building it so that's why it's empty in this area um, is Parky Tropical Cal good in, in Puerto del Carmen? I've heard it's good. I can't get in there because the, secu the, the security, the reception's like, um, it's like, it's like top SAS security. The minute you go in there, he's like, you're not staying here, go away. <laughs> so yeah, it's meant to be nice. I think it's basic accommodation, but it's meant to be nice. Right, come on, let's crack on. Let's walk over to the harbour, look over there. Mrs. Dravalon's heading out to get me paint. Why is she heading out to get me paint? Because right on our doorstep are one, two, three, four massive, like they're called Ferreterias, but they're like B&Q, hardware stores basically, DIY stores. And it really, really drives me mad and I've had a rant about this before. They all close on a Sunday and I'm trying to build this studio today and I need some paint. But luckily Mrs. Dravalon's going Porto del Carmen way. So there is one hardware store on the island open on a Sunday and it's in Puerto del Carmen. Um, but it's Sunday, it's the time you wanna do your DIY. Open the bloody things. You'd make a fortune. If I had a DIY store, it'd be open on a Sunday. Cause you'd get everything on Saturday and then by the time you're fiddling around on Sunday, you think, oh, I forgot to get that, I forgot to get that. And you can't get it until sort of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, you can't get it till Monday. By the time Monday comes, you're back at work and you can't be asked, can you? So it puts everything back a week. That's why everything in Lanzarote is manana, manana. I think it's because of Sundays. <laughs> Mark's in Playa Blanca. 28th of May, I'll be over there. That's my mother's birthday, 28th of May. You'll be landing on her birthday. She'll be here for sure, doing my head in, driving me mad. She will definitely be here on the 28th of May. So come on, let's have a little look, see what questions I can't see. I can't see all your questions, so if any good ones come up, the mods will pin it so I can see and answer. Oh God, it's windy now, I'm, walk I'm walking head on into the wind. Uh, do you know much about Oasis Lands Beach in Costa de Guise? No, I don't, Ella. I've not been there yet. Um, somebody said it was being refurbished. So I will head up there. I was gonna head up there today to Costa de Guise, but like I said, yesterday I was up that way. I went to Ikea. The carnival was on last night in Costa de Guise. So um, I'll probably go up there next week and have a little look. Where in Lanzarote would you recommend us to stay? Oh, drop me a private message because there's too many variables in that question. <laughs> too many variables. What star rating do you want? Where do you want to stay? What resort? Do you want self-catering? Do you want half board? Do you want full board? Do you want all-inclusive? Who's in your group? Other families? I'm going to set up a little way to sort of uh, give that advice to people. I'm working on that next week as well because I get the same question quite a lot. Where should I stay? What should I do? And I'm like, well, I don't actually know like, what you're looking for. So I am looking at a solution for that. 
I may use an external um, travel agent that can sort of answer any questions for you, or I may do it myself, but we, we shall see. But always drop me a private message, guys. I do answer 99.9% .9 of them. I might miss one or two, but what I tend to do, good morning, what, what I tend to do is I, um, I answer the questions between four o'clock and about 5.30 down at the gym <laughs> uh, there's a there's an exercise bike you can sit down on that's like got a proper seat with your back like a backrest and i'll just sit there do a bit of cycling and i'll just sit there answering question answering questions and comments it takes me about an hour and then i get off sweating and shaking <laughs> and it's much more entertaining than running <laughs> or cycling don't get me started on cycling today because yesterday they were everywhere everywhere there was queues of traffic queues of traffic everywhere i went and it was like what's going on has there been an accident and then by the time you've got through the massive backlog of traffic no two knobheads on a bike chatting to each other about what what color lycra shorts to buy next oh drove me mad yesterday um <laughs> Have you any reps in Costa, Costa del Sol looking for new discounts? No, Martin, but we're going to try and get over to Costa del Sol. Again, we're at the Canary Island based at the moment. Well, we're not, we're not even... We, Travel On is going to be a global brand. That's the plan. So we want to open in all destinations. And it is literally about getting the information put in on the site and, and signing up with the people that do the trips and tours. So it's not that much of a big job. Um, but there's a few things I need to get out of the way first before we go big um, and that's just to make sure everything's sort of legal and, and stuff like that so I'm working on that as well uh, we booked for THV Flora Kelly good morning disco <laughs> good morning Kelly I'm taking it your I can't see your picture so there's only a couple of Kelly's I know so you are Kelly O'Toole, perhaps, if that's correct. Good morning, my angel, how are you? Kelly used to work with me at First Choice Holidays many moons ago, back in the good old days. So you got a little gym area here, look, which is more of a kid's playground because not many people use it as a gym. But I tell you what, if you want to come, come down, look, and have a little go on them cycles, look, it's a lot better than getting in my way on a real cycle. <laughs> Get on there and have a little... <laughs> Have a little cycle over there, look. Not bothering anywhere, anyone. That's where Mr. Travel on would be. Uh, we booked for THB Flora PDC. Would you recommend? Yes, Grace, it's lovely. The only problem with THB Flora is it's up the top of a hill, uh, right in the old town. Um, so you might you might be getting taxis back home, save walking up the hill. Um, but it's, it's a beautiful place, really nice. Let's walk down here, shall we? Show you Playa Dorada. And I can show you this place here that Joanne asked about as well, look. So there's a lovely little bar down here. Um, oh, Nelly subscribe. Do you know what? I've got a, subscri a subscriber there. So on TikTok now, you can subscribe to the channel. Um, it means, I think, when you ask questions and comments, it will show up quite, um, quite prominently. In fact, Nelly, ask a question so I can see what it comes up as. Um, but you get badges and stuff like that and you can support the channel on TikTok. So thank you very much Nelly for subscribing. That's amazing. And there will be some more things that I'm going to do with that as well. But I've got so much to plan. So down here, look, is a lovely bar. Neil, I don't expect you to subscribe, mate. But thank you anyway. Really appreciate it. Absolute legend. Um, so look, beautiful. This has all been decked out. You've got tables and chairs. We've got chairs over there, look, so you can sort of sit here, have a drink. Beautiful. And do you know what? There's something about this place which I'm going to tell you about. Look at it. Gorgeous. Must be a gold mine. But they close before sunset. Can you believe that? Same as the hardware stores that close on a Sunday. They close at sun before sunset. I mean, that would be prime time for me. I'd be there right, I'd have a little DJ with some really chilled music um, and I'd be, you'd just do the sunset wouldn't you? But no, they're closed. I just missed that ping comment then. 
Um, if, if somebody pinned that guy's questions about Peter, can you re-pin it? Because I just missed that one. Um, so, look at that. Player Dorada there. Beautiful. Uh, can you say hi to my husband? We're looking to go again. Peter. Hello, Peter. How are you? Hope you're all right, Peter. And I look forward to you coming to Lanzarote again. I hope you have a fantastic time. And look, the sun's coming out a little bit. It's still a little bit cloudy, but what a beach this is, look. What an absolute beautiful beach. And this is the uh, the bar area as well. There's another bar over there. We'll walk through there. Let's go. I ain't walking on that sand. I am walking on that sand. Can you show Lineker's bar? No, that's in, um, that's in Porta del Carmen. And there's one in Tenerife as well. I don't think the one in Porta del Carmen is actually an official Lineker's bar. Because I know Lineker's bar are like, uh, weren't they owned by Wayne Lineker, who now owns the like most successful business bar in uh, in Ibiza? But I don't think the one in Lanzarote is an actual Lineker's bar. Uh, I'm in Porto Calero. Hope you're having a lovely time in Porto Calero. Pat Pinning, Playa Dorada Beach. That's where we are at the moment. gorgeous place look people are actually getting ready for a day on the beach by the looks of it the sun is coming out the sun is coming out look it's burning off that cloud you can see it over there it's it's really hot now uh do you own the travel on brand yes uh yes indeed sort of <laughs> but yeah travel on world is the brand name so it's all been registered trademarked and copyrighted and all of that nonsense but these are some of the things that we're working on at the moment Porto del Carmen uh, I got through out on I got somebody got through out of <laughs> Wayne Lineker's place is Club Montagna still open in Porto del Carmen yes it is Gare. it is right open it's never closed beautiful little place you've got two pools either side of a massive pool bar and it's actually quite perfectly located. How hard is it to move over there? Rach, if you go onto my YouTube channel, the last video I did is all about moving there. I spoke to Lydia, an actual consultant here on the island that deals with paperwork, and she will tell you exactly how to move here, what you need and how difficult it is. It's on my YouTube channel, travelon.world. For those of you that are watching today, head over to my YouTube. I'm gonna go live today at seven o'clock on the evening, seven, 7.30, and do my studio reveal as well. So you'll be able to catch me here and have a good old nose at my studio that I'm building this afternoon. But head over there, Rach. Uh, recommendations from transfers to the airport. Linking bio rudders. So I've got a new linking bio that basically brings up like a link tree, um, which says, right, if you want to go on excursions, click here. If you want to transfer from the airport, click here. If you want to book a holiday with Jet2, click here. Here's some offers with, um, with um, on the beach, click here. So it'll give you all that information that you need. So head over, linking bio rudders. And most of them are sort of handed over to sort of partners and stuff. Um, it's like sky scanners. So sky scanners, you go to play. You go to sky scanner to find the best deals. Well, that's sort of what I've put together there. Thank you, Neil. Look at this beautiful. So that little one over there that doesn't open at sun, sun, sunset, like I said, that's closed at the moment. But these guys, look, they don't mess about. They're open, and I'm sure they're open at sunset as well. Look, beautiful places. So this is the one with the yellow umbrellas. And again, you can sort of sit here. I've got to talk loud because the music's on and YouTube will block this. Even though we're live on TikTok, I'm recording fully on YouTube. So you'll be able to catch this whole live on YouTube this afternoon. I'll be posting that as well. So anything you've missed, you'll be able to see it. Morning, mate, you're all right. And then look at the views over here. Look, if you're having a bit of brekkie there, look. I mean, come on. You couldn't beat that, could you? And like I said, the sun is coming coming out it just makes everything look nicer doesn't it these guys have got some beds ready for the day look you do have to pay for the sun beds they bought their own look are you still involved with power on radio in a tiny little bit tiny little bit pat i might be doing a show on power on fm um power on fm is the uk local radio station here um and i might actually be doing a show but again so many things going on so many little things it's just finding the time to do it. 
there's so much I want to do, so many different videos I want to do, cooking ones. Um, so I did a cooking, <laughs> the chef, old chef Dave, I did a cooking video on canary and potatoes and fish. That went quite well, you know, uh, loads of you like that. I actually got into the Spanish press over how to make canary and potatoes. And then yesterday I got an email from a company that are offering me a 10 piece um, pots and pans thing if I can use them in my next cooking video. <laughs> I'm like, listen, if you can send it to Lanzarote, I'm in, I'm in, I'll use them. <laughs> they look really nice as well. So it's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. Would you recommend Paradise Island? Yeah, lovely. I've done a video in Paradise Island with their uh, father and son, um, showing us around one of the rooms as well, and that's on my YouTube channel. Um, right, what we got here? Bikers, Bikers Beach Club, live music here. Um, great place. Would you go to Old Gulf Rose, the sunset? Yes, I'll keep that post, keep that comment po uh, pinned, Natalie. I'll tell you about the sunset in El Golfo. Um, so you've got Bikers Bar here. I'll tell you just when we pass the harp, I'll remember. You've got Bikers Bar there, you've got the harp there. Great bars, they're just getting open for the day. Um, Irish pub, sports bar, they do food. Um, good morning, mate, how are you, you all right? And then you've got the lovely Playa Dorada there, look. Beautiful Playa Dorada, look at that. Right, yeah, so some, the best place to see the sunset is El Golfo. El Golfo is a tiny, tiny little place, um, sort of near to uh, Timofaya National Park. Um, all of Jack's mates are there, so he's always, he, he, I always have to drop him down to El Golfo. Um, but it's beautiful. The restaurants here are stunning. I will go and do a video down there at sunset as well. Um, but it is the best place. So if you've got a car, drive down to El Golfo for the sunset, you will see the best sunset in Lanzarote. Again, something that they're not monetizing on. <laughs> Um, and that would be a sunset trip down to El Golfo and then stargazing afterwards. Um, it's something I've sort of looked into, but I'll be honest, with, with everything I'm telling you at the moment, I've got so many things on, I just haven't got time to set things up myself. Um, so I wouldn't be doing it. Do you live at El Golfo? No, I don't live at El Golfo. I live in Playa Blanca. <laughs> Um, but I have to drop the kids down. I'll have to drop Jack down there quite a lot. But it is beautiful, lovely, lovely, um, lovely, lovely um, bars, restaurants and stuff down there. The restaurants are stunning and the views are beautiful. The spoon, look here, Laura's on it with the spoon. And Zeke getting a little bit busy now. Hello, Lanzalux, good afternoon. Hello, Lanzalux owns there. Uh, couple of nice properties as well. I'm due to do another video showing one of his villas. Well, I've already showed one of his villas, but I'll be doing another one. So thank you very much. I thought somebody said Mr. Travel on then, but they were French. <laughs> what the hell? Hang on, I've got to do something, one second. I might have to verify something then. Uh, would you recommend Sandos Papagaya? Yeah, beautiful hotel. Again, on my YouTube channel, I've done a full tour of that place um, and the room tour as well, Sandos Papagaya. And this is the famous spoon down here, look. The spoon in concrete, where Mr. Thank you very much, Nick. I was just let's say, what time is it? It's perfect because it'll take me about half an hour to get around there and then I can walk back. So my claim to fame is I stood here with Jane McDonald on her Channel 5 show and showed people the spoon. It's in this area, it's by that lamppost there. So when you get to that lamppost, you'll see the spoon in concrete. Somebody dropped the spoon in there, they concreted over it, and it's a, it's, it's a tourist attraction now. Everyone takes a picture of the spoon when they find it, but it is difficult to see when you're walking down, so you do have to search for it. Right, I'm just gonna plug the YouTube camera in. One second, guys. Boom. Uh, how is Spain dealing with their migration problem? Um, the island-wise, we do get, I can't remember the name in Spanish, it's something, I'm gonna say pateras, but I think that's completely the wrong Spanish word for it. And um, there is a Spanish word for it, it's like, it means little boats. And we do get the little boats arriving here. Um, but it's not too bad here, um, to be honest. It is quite controlled. Mainland Spain, I think, is quite a problem. 
Um, but here in, here on, well, especially here in Lanzarote, it's not too bad, but they do arrive because it's quite easy as well, Lanzarote, it's a tiny island. And this is like their, like a gateway into the mainland Spain as well. And I think a lot of them that arrive here will get sent over to mainland because there's just not the resources here. I'm over in Easter. Are there any excursions for the parades in Arrecife? The parades, I think you miss the parades. The, the parade is carnival. Um, I don't know if there's an Easter parade. I've never heard of one. Um, but if there is, there's not going to be any excursions up there. You'd have to make your own way. Uh, is Rancho Texas open for nighttime entertainment? Yeah, Rancho Texas is open in the daytime for like a zoo and water park. It's incredible. And then on the night, it's like a country and western night. So again, you go onto our website, you can uh, get tours, trips and excursions. Use the code TTK and uh, you'll be able to get a discount as well. Is Paradise Island far from there? Again, I've done a video on Paradise Island actually walking on one of my lives. You'll have to go back and have a look on YouTube because I'm recording everything now. So everything I do on these lives gets put on YouTube as a full video. So whatever you see today, you will see on YouTube. And I did one walking from the Paradise Island all the way down. You'll see exactly the route and you'll see exactly how long. Probably takes walking to get to where I am now. You'd need a good half an hour, 40 minutes. But there is a bus, a courtesy bus that'll bring you down to town. There's the old Fung Grube with the yellow elephant. I'll go and see if my friend's in there that got Mrs. Travelon's uh, Valentine's present sorted. She was so lovely in here. It's beautiful. No, I don't think she is. But there you go, look, Fung Grube. You've got Pandora, you've got everything here, look. Beautiful place. Let's see if my little friend's here, no. I've got some amazing service in there, this lady went in. Of course, I was ranting at the price of everything. I was like, it's Valentine's Day, what a ridiculous. <laughs> I'm good at ranting in Spanish. I was saying in Spanish, I was saying it's absolutely ridiculous making me spend money on stupid days. And she was laughing and in the end she went, right, come on, this is cheap, this looks good, get this. And she wrapped it up for me as well. So there's the main player, Blanca Town Beach. Can you do a video on Santos Anos, please? I don't know what Santos Anos is, so I'm not sure. So um, that's uh, Vulcan the Timon Fire. I've heard that's really good. You got a little sort of uh, ice cream shop here and then you've got Tipico Canario and Jumbo, which I've just missed there, which are Chinese restaurants. I'm in Playa Blanca today. So they're Vulcan the Timon Fire. I've heard that's good. Amazing steak, apparently. Morning, you're right. Lots of people out. Morning, you're right. Uh, did you save the Porta del Carmen video? Every live that I've ever done is saved on YouTube. So if you go onto YouTube, you'll see the playlist, which is uh, live catch-ups. And everything's on there. <laughs> Give yourself two hours. <laughs> you'll have to sit and watch them. <sighs> Can you do a video on Punta Mejeras? Punta Mejeras, yeah, I'll get up there. Good idea, Jilly Bean. I will get up there. I am going to do some more videos on sort of more um, traditional things, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not that sort of person, you know what I mean? Um, I'm more sort of, how do I say it? I, I, firstly, to do all like the sightseeing videos, they won't get the views that, that the north, like I can walk down this street and get thousands of views because people are interested in, you know, where to eat and drink. And all that. Hello, mate. How are you? How are you? I'm all right. Good to meet you, mate. Good to meet all you. Your videos. Does he? He watches all. Say hello. Is he watching live now? Do you reckon? Yeah, maybe if you call him, if I'm well, don't worry. But you'll be on YouTube anyway. It's, it's been okay. recorded, so you'll be on later. on. what's you your watch, name? My name's Ian. That's Yvonne. Ian and Yvonne. Say Paul hello. Hi. And he, well, Aaron watches you every week. There you go. Say hello to Aaron then. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> He'll be like, don't embarrass me. <laughs> How old is he? He's 23. Oh, he's all right then. He's not in that. He's Lovely not in that year. team. Does he? Always. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And where are you guys staying? Uh, K Beach. K Beach. Yeah. Any good? Yeah. 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 Any good? You're right. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. 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 Basic but nice yeah. and good location. Yeah. That's what you need. And it looks like the weather yeah. is it's taking a ton for the better. We well, yeah. Fingers crossed. Well, look. You can give one to Aaron, look, and you oh, put one on your case, all right? Thank you. Uh, Thank you, the official Mr. Yeah. Travel on stickers. Good lovely to meet you. you. See you later. You'll be on YouTube later about 6:30. All right. All right, buddy. See you later. Oh, nice people, look. Um, what were we saying before then? Yeah, I was saying about like um, going up and seeing like really nice places like Famara and Punta Mujeres. Um People don't watch it. And I'm not saying you guys won't, um, but you get less views 
which is fine for me. Um, but I get more views and more interest with sort of walking down here. Um, but I am going to go and do it, I promise you. But don't expect one of these sort of videos if I go up to Punta Mujeres where I'm talking about like the history of things and, uh, you know, because <laughs> that's just not Mr. Travelon. I'm interested in that. I'll look and go, oh, look, that's a nice, that's a nice view, isn't it? That's a nice island over there. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm not, you know, I'm not a tour guide. Uh, I just like to show you nice places and just down to earth and stuff like that. But I will go up and do some more places like that. You've got the mint shop here, look, designer label stuff. Uh, Sandos Atlantic Gardens, yeah, that's up here and I'm due to do a video there soon. So again, I've got to get around these videos. That's in um, these hotels. That's another type of video that does well and that's the, uh, that's the, um, the hotel videos, look. There's that beautiful beach, look at that. Absolutely stunning. And views over to Fuerteventura. The sun is coming out now. So you've got Playa Dorada Beach that we passed earlier, and then you've got the town beach. How much is the bus journey, or how much is a bus per journey or week pass? Um, I don't know how to get a week pass, so I'm not sure on that, uh, but it cost me to get from the airport to Playa Blanca three euros 40. That's not too bad, is it? So there's a new restaurant up the top which has closed down. Um, due to um, licensing laws of having a terrace over, uh, on the top. Um, I'm not sure why. And then there's a Chinese restaurant here. Oh, you do you see me? Well, you see me now. We watched it on YouTube. You're on the phone to your mum, are you? Yeah. Say hello to her then. <laughs> Where are you guys all staying? Dreams. Dreams, I've just passed it. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Have, you, have you got that little upgrade, that privilege no, no, upgrade? No, too much money. No, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. There you go. I do say to people, there's no need to, is there? Brilliant. Well, look, sorry, Mum, I'm just keeping her. Here, have a couple of luggage labels, look. You can put my, my boat race on your case now. Lovely. All right. Where are you all from? Sorry. Sorry. Well, have a lovely time. Enjoy yourself. See you later. She's on the phone to her mum. <laughs> Hello, good morning. How are you? You all right? You having a lovely time? The sun's coming out. Just arrived yesterday. You just arrived yesterday. Well, hopefully you've missed the bad weather because it's been crap. I'll be honest with you, the last four days has been really cloudy, like it was when yeah. this morning. But look, sun's yeah. coming out. Where are you stopping? Just up there. Uh, the park, that's up oh, lovely. Yeah. Fantastic. What's your name? Claire. Claire. Well, say hello to everyone, Claire. You're live on TikTok and, and YouTube as well. Here's a little label for you and have a good day. Enjoy, the, enjoy your holiday. You just arrived. See you soon. Bye. Well, there you go. Bloody hell. Getting accosted there, ain't I? Getting accosted. Is there a video on Palmeiras Gardens on YouTube? No, there isn't. I'm due to do it, so I will get and do it soon. Look, there's people here, look, on the beach. There's people getting ready for a day on the beach. Look, kids running round. It's all happening. The arcade, look. Beautiful arcade here. Oh, you're going to have a great time now. The amount of tourism Dave must bring in. I know. I know, Bunny B. I should be, uh, I should be part of Lanzarote's um, um, tourist, tourist uh, government thing, couldn't I? Because they ain't got a bloody clue what they're doing. <laughs> Is Casa Pedro, the one that was in the news for uh, charging somebody 125 euros for four prawns, which was a little bit blown out of proportion because they were very, very unique, sort of like lobsters. Imagine king prawns, but bigger, but that's the price. That's how much they are. And I think it was a shock for the guy that, that, that bought them. Um, but I think he should have really asked the price or the restaurant should have displayed the price hello how are you you're all right yeah, it's getting hot now it's getting you've getting just hot. arrived as well Yesterday. well there you go you've missed the weather because it's been crap you know, I've been it? yeah it's been really cloudy it's been, crappy, crappy it's been horrible this morning it was horrible it was all, it was all over but look the sun's come out now where are you guys staying casas del sol, casas del sol. That's, that's up there yeah, yeah. and how long are you for 10 off do you? Time. Well, there you go. Look, well, if you know, if you watch my videos, you know you get yourself a little luggage label. Look, what are your names? Say hello. Annette. Hello. Annette. What's your name? Victor. Victor. Jason. And Jason. Here, are Victor. Charlotte. There's one for you as well. Are you oh, saying hello really to Charlotte? Good. Well, look, yeah, you're, you're live on TikTok here to 1,100 people, and you've been recording on YouTube. So around 6:30 tonight, um, you'll be on YouTube, so you can say go and have a look, and you'll be on. How, many, how long we've we been on? 75 minutes, around that mark. All right, so you can skip through. See you later. Have a lovely time. See you soon.
Someone said, they know them. Do you know them? <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? Everyone, everyone watches Mr. Travel on, don't they? I have created a monster. <laughs> 10 14, look, Nicola's on me. Look, she's on me. Thanks, Nicola. I don't have to be somewhere at 10.30, but I just want to finish it. I just want to finish. So I am going to walk back through the harbour, show you where to go when you get off the boat, um, and then back to the car park, which is right next door to the bus station. And then I'm going back to do this um, studio up, and I'm going to be live on YouTube tonight. So head over to my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. It costs absolutely nothing to subscribe on YouTube. It's free of charge. Just hit that subscribe button, um, and you'll get notified of any videos that I do um, on hotels and places to go and tonight about 7 7 30 you'll see it flash up I'll, I'll, I'll get it put on I think 7 30 is probably better it gives me a little bit more time to have some dinner I'll just do a little uh, studio reveal It'll only be for half an hour an hour but we'll see how it goes the main thing is the lighting I've got to p piss around with the lighting to be honest and it's like everything, you, you, you go on YouTube and one person says this, the other person says this, the other person says this, and this is the problem with social media. And I, this is why I'm so glad that the stuff I do, and again, this is another reason why I wouldn't go to like, um, like, like cultural places and start talking about culture and stuff like that, because I ain't got a clue. <laughs> and uh, this is what I hate about social media, that some things you, you like try and find out how to do something and there's like 10 different ways to do it and different opinions and you, you come away more confused than when you went in and it's the same with dieting isn't it and eating um, I don't know if you've seen Eddie Abu on, uh, on TikTok and YouTube the guy is a legend uh, black guy from Africa um, used to be a bodybuilder doesn't, doesn't lie about it very honest used to do steroids and stuff like that and he was a nurse in hospital and he realised, I'll tell you more in a minute. Love your programme. Thank you very much. Yes. How are you? Very good. What's your name? Eric. Eric. Fantastic. Are you having a good holiday? Oh, we've been here for two months. Two months? Yeah, no yeah. way, really? Absolutely. Wow, two month holiday? Yeah, absolutely. Fancy. Yes, I love it. And you've got one of these fancy scooters, look. Oh, yeah, we shipped it out. You shipped it out? It's yeah. yours. Well, look here. You can have a little sticker to put on if you want. Oh, thank you. There you go. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> have a good one, all right? Yeah. See you soon. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, so Eddie Abu, um, so he's basically on social media telling people not how to diet, he's not talking to, he's not, and this is what I like about him, and do you know what, it has worked so well for me, and, and Mrs. Travelon will tell you as well, he, I've tried every single diet that you can possibly imagine, you name it, I've tried it, um, and I can't stand these people that come on and do calorie counting and know your macros and do this and weigh this. I cannot be bothered. This Eddie Abu, and he's getting slated by these, he's getting slated by these people that are basically trying to sell courses and sell diets and sell training programs because they, they make it so complicated that you need to pay for it in order to understand it. And this is what they do. So he's really rattling quite a few people. But he is basically goes around supermarkets, looks at the back of stuff, and says, <laughs> without, he swears quite a lot. He says, guys, this is absolute shit. It's not food, it's not real food. Look at the amount of stuff that's in the ingredients. It is shit. Let me say hello to these. How are you? I saw you waving. I'm just having a rant. Lovely to meet you. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm all right. I'm, I'm, you came on live, eh? Yeah. <laughs> don't you worry, it's only me, bloody hell. What's your name? My name's Jo and I follow you all the time. I've been following you since, um, oh, since I joined TikTok. Well, and there you, you go. Basically, you want to find a spoon, which is gone now, isn't it? No, it's still up there. It's Somebody still. put it back. Okay, we're staying at the bridge on, which you went round Oh, the yeah, 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 beautiful. Yeah. The rain's really bad. Well, it was, but I think you're all right. I think, you've, I think it's going to get better. All oh, right, okay. So you're all right. Absolutely. Fantastic. Lovely to meet you. Look, ego. You you're on YouTube here. Look, I'm recording on YouTube and you're live on TikTok to 1,200 people. <laughs> What's your name? Neil. You didn't get a look in there, did you, Neil? She was straight over. Easy. No worries. Look, here's a couple of luggage labels. Thank you so much for following. Check YouTube about 80 minutes in tonight, about 6.30. Okay. You'll be on. You'll be famous. I've done. I've just walked all the way down. Is it his birthday? I'll come down. I'll come and say hello to him as well. There you go. Does he know who I am? No. No, there you go. Happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday. All right, say hello to everyone. Look, you've got 1,200 people saying happy birthday to you. 
See you later. Here, have a luggage label. You probably don't follow me, but you might do from now on, eh? No, I have I'll see you later. <laughs> see you, my darling. Bye, bye. Hello. You all right? Oh, everyone's in yum yums today. You having a good time? Yeah, what you got in there at this time of the morning? Fresh orange, Fre juice. Fresh orange juice and a beer. Oh, there you go. There you go. What are your names? Debbie and Paul. And where, where are you from? Nottingham. Nottingham. Where are you stopping? Barcelona. Ah, the new yeah, one. Barcelona Playa Blanca. And good, bad, mixed. Fine. Yeah. yeah. A few teething problems, like I always say, maybe. Yeah. 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 But it's what it's what you. Brilliant. Well, there you go. Because there's been a few. There's been good comments and sort of negative comments, hasn't yeah. there? But it's a new hotel. It's only just open. Exactly. And I said earlier, they've only just done. The, they've not even done a summer. No, exactly. So, oh, fantastic. Well, look. Fantastic. Get on there. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy your uh, diluted, diluted halves. See you later. Have a good day. See you later. Lovely place to look over there. Look. Um, right. What were we saying before? Before everybody met me. Oh. I never usually meet that many people in Playa Blanca, do I have to come down more? Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, we were talking about diet. So anyway, in a nutshell, they're all kicking off about this Eddie, um, saying that he's wrong and this, that and the other, and the only way to lose weight is to calorie control, and they're, 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 they're making it so complicated that people try these diets, pay for them, move on, and I've been guilty of it in the past. But this Eddie is basically saying, just eat real food, as much real food as you can. And do you know what? For me and Mrs. Traveline, it has worked so good. So my whole shopping attitude has changed. I will pick something up and I'll say, oh, I, I like that. And I'll look at the back of it. And if it has more than a few ingredients in, I'll put it back because they are putting so much crap in food these days that it's making you tired. It's making you feel um, dumbed down. It's making you get brain fog. It's giving you less energy it's causing insulin spikes it's just it's just not doing you any good and i have um i've now started eating real food it's difficult and you can i am falling over now and again and you know having this but instead of like yogurt like normal yogurts which i used to eat i now get greek yogurt full fat as well not not any of your diet crap because they put more chemicals in the diet stuff so believe it or not, we were, we were having like zero sugar tomato ketchup. Well, if you look on the back, there's so many chemicals in it and there's the same amount of crap or sugar in that than the full fat one. So I buy the full fat one now and I try not to have too much of sauces in that because that's bad. But we're, we're trying to eat um, salad and meat, salad and meat, salad and meat, salad and meat. It can get a bit boring. But it's real food. There's no chemicals. Hello, my darling. How are you? Mr. I am Mr. Travel on, yeah. Are you running? Are you, are you going on a run, are you? We've just done the run. Wow. We've done a quick four miles. So. Four miles. Yeah. What's your name? Alison. Alison, it's lovely to meet you, oh, Alison. Lovely to meet you. Oh, I've got a little cool. present for you. There you go. Little luggage label. Thank you so much. This is my husband. Oh, is he running as well? Come on, you. You. You're falling behind this. She's. She. she come on. She's forced you out for a four-mile run. Rather you than me. Come on, let's get a little selfie here. Look, I'm just going to do a selfie with Alice and she's been on a four mile run. Get in, you, come on. Get in. There you go. Cool, thank you. See you later. Yeah. You might see me around here. All right. She's all right. She's off, she's off shopping. I'm decorating today. If you are next door, I might be banging later. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> right, there you go. Look, every time I've. Yeah, so there you go. Anyway, to finish off, eat real food. Um, and try and change your habits. And if you watch Eddie Abu, he's like brainwashing you completely because you'll be walking around the supermarket and you'll hear his voice saying, you don't need that, put it back. It's not real food. And you just put it back and it's working. So there you go. There's my little tip for if, if you want to lose weight. Um, don't worry about all the compl complex things. Just try and eat actual real food, fish, meat, uh, fruit, vegetables. You know what I mean? Seems to be the way forward. Might be banging late. And do you know what, Mark? As soon as I said that, as soon as I said that, <laughs> when I said, I said, I see you later. If you're living next door, I might be banging later. It's not. I'm going to doing some building work. I, bet, I, think she, I think she thought I said that as well, didn't she? Oh, my God. You're not renting any video, any room, uh, place next door to me. Oh, no. Rufy. But I think she looked then and thought, what's he just say? He might be banging later. Because her husband said, how's Mrs. Traveller? And I said, yeah, really good. 
and then <laughs> I said, if you're next door, I might be banging later. Oh my God, I might need to explain myself. Dear me. There, there. I hope they didn't think I meant that. Mind you, they'll be watching on YouTube, the catch up look. <laughs> she definitely did, I know, Mark. I think I'll put myself in it, don't I? I know. Right, these are all like the, uh, the, the things where they catch lobsters and stuff like that. And then there's a little farm, not a farm, but a little garden that's got chickens. Do you know what? I'm saying that the weather's changed and the sun's come out. It's, it's just started spitting. I can feel it. <laughs> can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> That's tickled me, that has. Dear me. I hope she didn't think I meant that, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're stopping next door, I'll be banging later. So expect some noise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, there you go, look, Pat's, oh my God, it's just started raining. It's like proper raining. So yes, Pat's giving the mods a shout out, five of them on today, answering all your questions, pinning comments, getting rid of people. I do appreciate you guys, fantastic jobs. Oh dear me, how far is Vitaclass? Vitaclass in Costa de Gizeh, eh? so it's quite far from here. So anyway, we were going to tell you when you get off the ferry, weren't we? But we've been de I've been delayed with banging and diets. <laughs> so you'll get off the ferry here. Um, and then you, if you get off the ferry and go in that direction where we've just been, you're heading to town and the seafront, Playa Dorada and stuff. Or if you come the other way, you'll sort of head up to a sort of Rubicon Palace. So you certainly don't want to be going that way if you're coming for a day out in Playa Blanca. So you want to come off the ferry and you want to turn essentially if you face if you come off you want to turn right and head along the front there so that'll bring you there if you come off the ferry you want to go further afield like into Porta del Carmen there's a bus stop right here look and you can get the bus into Porta del Carmen <laughs> you know it John you know it um... <laughs> I'm still laughing at that <laughs> Right, come on, let's answer your questions while I walk back to the car. I uh, hope you're well. Could you do a review on the Cinco Plazas? Already done one on YouTube with a room review as well. Uh, so head over to YouTube, search for Cinco Plazas, you'll see that. Uh, morning, Attenborough, how are you? Um, oh, uh, when will you next be walking around Costa de Giz? I was going to do today, Ella, but I didn't. So I might do next week, maybe next Sunday. Uh, for sure it won't be Porta del Carmen or Playa Blanca. Whether it'll be somewhere different, I don't know. Uh, but it'll be next week. Can you believe it's raining? And I've said that the weather's getting better. Um, we're out to La Santa in three weeks. Can you do a walk around there? No, Richie, I can't because it's miles away. And it's a sports hotel. And I am a sporty person. And uh, it's full of cyclists. <laughs> it's where all the cyclists go. So <laughs> I definitely am going up there. I've got nothing against cyclists, but I definitely ain't going up there, trust me. <laughs> Took me ages. Nightmare to drive around there. Um, let's have a look. <laughs> Somebody sound about swinging there. Um, right, let's have a look. Uh, what town are you in? I'm in Playa Blanca. Where in Lanzarote? I'm in Playa Blanca. Uh, didn't you invite the I know, I hope they're not swingers as well. Can you imagine? Oh my God, it's raining. It's raining quite heavily now. Jeez. Right, come on, let's get going. It's like sunny and raining at the same time. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Perfect timing as well. Are you near Player Flamingo? No, Ella, Player Flamingo's behind me. Um, it's an episode of Benidorm, it's true. Um, my friend just come home. Are Atlantic Gardens still there? Yeah, loads of people keep asking about like, Atlantic Gardens. I must go and do a video there. It's only a small complex, um, but it's very popular. So I will go and have a look. Stayed at Elba on your left. Yeah, Elba's just up there. So the Elba Hotel is just up there. There's a little shortcut that takes you right up to the Elba. So if you stop in there, you'll be rocking and rolling. Uh, do you have a house? Yes. 
Has anyone ever been to THB Tropical? Yeah, I've done a video on THB Tropical. I'm due to do another one actually, uh, but there is a video on my YouTube of THB Tropical. Thank you very much, Lands Lux. LLV is discount for booking with Lands Lux Villas. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Have you ever done to HR Island yet, yeah, Alfie? Um, HL Paradise Island, I've done a video on YouTube. Head over to my YouTube channel. Anyone who's asking questions, 99% of them will be answered on YouTube with a video. Uh, I've done loads on there, loads. Um, so make sure to go over, hit the subscribe button, cost you absolutely nothing to do so. And from there, you should be able to get your answers on different hotels, places to go, what to see, what to do. And like I said, tonight at 7.30, I'll be live on YouTube only doing a little, well, practice run with the new studio. <laughs> if I can get it fixing with all that banging, in between all the banging. <laughs> oh, God. There's some good videos of certain places on Dave's YouTube. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, Oasis Lands Beach. Yeah, everyone's asking me about Oasis Lands Beach as well. I must get up there as well. Promise I will. Martin Rancho, Texas is fantastic. Thanks for uh, letting people know that. One of the best things to do in Lanzarote is Rancho, Texas. And you can book that on our website, travelon.world, use the code TTK, and you'll get yourself a discount. There's a free bus pickup from Playa Blanca, Porto del Carmen, uh, Costa de Gizeh. It's an animal park, um, low, it, grows it grows every year. And then next summer, their water park should be fully functioning. There's already a water park with two massive slides, a brand new sort of swirly whirly slide, a lazy river, and next up is loads more. So it's gonna be like a full water park there. It's amazing, the place is amazing. Just black from Blue Sea Palm, definitely needs an upgrade. Blue Sea Palm's up for sale. So I don't think they're gonna upgrade it until someone buys it. Um, I don't know how much it is. Should we do a GoFundMe? <laughs> Mr. Travel On will buy it. Blue Sea Lanzarote Travel On. Uh, but a lot of the Blue Sea need a bit of a, a shake-up. There's a couple in there, uh, Costa de Gizzi as well, that could do with it. I don't know whether they're a brand that's up for sale or what. Uh, but yeah, definitely could do with a little bit of a spruce up. Um, my parents go there, they love it. Say hello to your parents. Uh, Let's have a look, see if there's anybody else. Went to play Blank Blanca. We we were the Playa Blanca. The scooters were around. Yeah, there's loads of scooters around Playa Blanca. It's the only resort that's got the scooters left. They've got rid of them in Costa de Gies and they've got rid of them in Porto del Carmen. They've kept them right down here in Playa Blanca where I live. And I think there's a little memo or some piece of paper or something stuck in the office of the town hall that says leave the scooters in Playa Blanca because Mr. Travel On doesn't like them. <laughs> Get him, get him something to rant about. If there was nothing for me to rant about, I mean, let's face it, you lot wouldn't watch. You lot wouldn't be interested, would you? Couldn't even sit on a sofa, was so bad, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I've just seen that comment come up. Uh, <laughs> bloody hell. Uh, what's your personal opinion of HL Paradise Island? I've seen reviews saying it's dirty. Very basic accommodation. Um, very busy place, lots of kids, lots of families, very noisy place, has a water park at the back that is actually being done up at the moment. So um, if you're coming like in the next few weeks, they're, they're building on it, but it sort of won't affect your stay. Um, it's classed as a four star. I personally would say it's a three star, in my opinion. Food's meant to be okay, but it's typical ho hotel food. Can be a little bit shabby in places. Um, which is what you'd expect from a massive family place, because let's face it, um, kids make mess, don't they? <laughs> so, if, I would say three star. I wouldn't, I wouldn't class it as a four star, but if it's a good price, um, it's a great hotel, good atmosphere, uh, lots of entertainment and stuff. So this is where we started, look, here at the bus stop, and I told you which way to go. So if you turn right out the bus stop, you'll head down to the harbour area, and we turned left and we walked all the way down to town and then we walked all the way along the front. And I've got to say a big thanks to Pat because I know he, 
he put on there and said thanks to the, the, the mods that are on there. But Pat gives me loads of ideas. And he also uh, puts me in touch with lots of people. <laughs> and he also helps me with my Irish history as well. So he'll send a message saying, right, it's this day today. Don't forget. It's Bank Holiday in Ireland. It's this Saints Day in Ireland. Don't forget. And uh, I've got lots of Irish, um, Irish followers. I love them. And uh, they're always so nice and always say hello to me and stuff. But Pat keeps me in line <laughs> with everything Irish, so I know what I'm doing. What is your opinion about HL Rio Playa Blanca? Uh, Nicola's on here. Uh, me and Nicola did a video in HL, Paradise, HL Rio. It was one of the first videos we ever did. It's one of the most viral videos. And she showed me a room, very first one. And uh, we loved it. Well, she loved it as well. It's a big hotel, massive. It's 2E, so you can sort of guarantee some kind of quality. Uh, the rooms look amazing and uh, it's just a big hotel. Again, it's another big family one. But I'd say between that and Paradise Island, that one's probably better. Let me swing you around, guys, because I've sort of arrived at the car. One second. Oi, oi, oi. Flip camera. Woohoo! So we're here, look, I've arrived at the car. I'm right outside, well, this is quite a good car park here, look. I'm right outside the new, um, the new leisure centre. When that's gonna be open, I don't know, but when it does, I'll go in and say. Uh, Pat is a true gentleman, Mark, but you are as well, you all are. So big thank you to all the moderators, look. Um, and I'll thank you a few times throughout this. Um, I don't expect any of you to be here on a Sunday morning at nine o'clock. I mean, let's face it, uh, but you always, <laughs> you always turn up and you always do an amazing job. Um, and just answer questions and just keep everybody in order. I don't know what's going on here. Look, some dog training, look. What's going on here? They're doing dog training. I ain't going anywhere near them, can't stand them. <laughs> anyway, yes, thank you to all the moderators. And it was a good live today. I've really enjoyed myself. I am going back to get banging. No, not banging, banging. I've got to build this studio. Um, so tonight, 7.30 on YouTube, I will be live. I'll be doing a studio reveal so you can see what the new studio looks like. I've got loads to do. <laughs> and it's not going to be a banging live either. This ain't no OF. This ain't no OF. Anyway, love you all. Thank you very much, and I'll see you.